too. It's Maria with the RV Keys. Today we have an interesting part of the history of the Spirit of Suwannee River RV camp or resort. Um, we were lucky enough to run into a gentleman who thought we were lost and he decided to give us a little bit of history of the park. One of the things that he mentioned was that they used to have a flip-flop trail and by that he meant people used to go around to the pine trees and staple their flip-flops. 
And he said it kind of got out of hand. People did flip-flops, they did underwear, they did the whole nine yards, and so finally they took it down. Well, today, riding around in the golf cart, we saw the flip-flop trail sign, and we decided to drive down and see what we could find. And you know, we don't do uh, X-rated videos here with our Rikis, but we can't resist stopping to show you as we were riding around the golf cart what we found. So follow me over to the street. The flip-flop trail at the Spirit of Squatty River, and we found this, so guys, you hear it from us first. And have a wonderful day. We're going to catch you some more about this park a little bit later. Wanted to let you know that uh, we're driving around at the Spirit of Swanee River and we're driving around in our cricket. This cricket happens to be from the cricket group uh, out of Daytona Beach with Mike Campton, a wonderful person. And uh, this is our cricket and we will be driving it through the Spirit of Swanee and we will be giving you various ideas of where we've been and we're going to drive on to our next spot and we'll see you in a little bit hi we're over in the area where the swimming pool country store and music hall is this pool is very small and right now because of COVID restrictions only a few people are allowed in time, and you have to actually get a pass to go in. In front of the pool are two wooden outhouse type buildings that are actually the bathroom changing area for the pool. And we'll walk over and show you kind of very old wooden outhouse type universal bathroom. Just two, so if you need to use the restroom or change or whatever, this is your spot. And we're going to head over to the store. Over here in this area, this is right next to the pole, the country store, and in between actually is the coin, la coin laundry. Let's take a walk and see how the laundry room is. Not sure if it's old or new, but uh, let's check it out. It's always interesting to come to new places and uh, see what might be there. So it looks like it is to our uh, game room. It's not a game room. This is the game room, arcade, very book by the pool. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, it's not too many games, but. And then as we were saying, this is the laundry room. Uh, wooden floor, wooden buildings, wasps, be afraid of the wasps. Uh, about five, six washers and about the same number of dryers. Some older, some newer. But this, folks, is the laundry room. I don't see anything, bring your own soap powder. Um, do it your own risk, basically. Cost about a dollar fifty for the washer, and the dryers are looks like a dollar. I don't know how long they run for. So let's continue over to the country store. Okay, and now we're at the old country store. Lot of ceiling fans to keep a nice breeze. They have a lot of carvings here. One of a gentleman. They have a parrot. I believe this is a walrus. They have um, chairs here for you to sit in. And they also have the beer necessities. Flowers or manatee, I believe that is. And a lost and fail. I guess if you drop something, you have a place to go. They yeah. have four chairs and they have a lot of little wood structures on a shelf up above. And what and good an campground would be without an ATM and a bulletin board? So now we're going to go inside the store. Oh, wait, there's some other things in front here. There's two rocking chairs and some more Adirondack chairs. All the while, as you can see the corner, there's ice machines. All right, now we're going to go inside and check out the inside of the general store.
friendly, helpful staff. And your name is? Devin. Devin and... Nice to meet you. See you on self YouTube sometime, right? <laughs> and here is what the pandemic with we have a nice little mask collection. Look at this, all these masks here. Marie, will you care to show us around this area? Well, there seems to be a nice shelf around the front that uh, I'm not quite sure what it is, but about a little Christmas statues and such. What's that plenty thing over there? Plenty of t-shirts from the spirit of the Swanee Music Park. And just about every color you can possibly imagine, including high dyes. Also, we have some electrical, some dog bones, uh, not for the dogs, but for converting from one type of power to another. Uh, we have some 50 amp and 30 amp extension cords here, as well as some cable, re some electrical repair here, as well as we have a whole bunch of flip flops and kid stuff for the beach. as well as some additional propane for those needed and for those starting fires uh, for camping. There are some supplies for that too. Here's a really interesting sign here by the SOS Cafe and the Music Hall. They're closed today, this is Memorial Day, but usually they're closed on a Monday. A lot of people have already left the park here. There's a whole bunch of people that were here. There's, in the distance there you can see, there's the office where you would check in or always find out information. And then we just go on down the road here. Well, as we're right around the uh, Spirit of the Swanee campground, we have found the amplifier, and we are going to attempt to ride closer with the golf cart. Um, don't know how close we can get. We may have to get out and walk a little bit. Quite a big amphitheater. It's outside. It's surrounded by lots of oak trees, moss, and uh, coming up here, you know, in a strange place, there's two ATM machines in the middle of basically nowhere. Um, very different. You usually don't see that kind of thing. I am sure um, this place gets pretty filled up from what I understand at certain times of the year. Uh, you should be able to see the seating. You bring your own chairs and there's different levels. And uh, if you just kind of set up camp and first come first serve, there is a little space for handicap accessible. And uh, we're going to look at the stage here now. And you should be able to see the spirit of the Swanee there. And the stage. 
electric and basically just a wooden structure, nothing fancy. Going over some grates now. Okay, so now we're going to head down uh, loop camping and evidently a picking shed. Not been down this particular loop, so we will be pleasantly surprised. Corner cabin parking and the Wilson parking. So I guess uh, they have some cabins over here. Right. And we found no station. This particular um, campground has several different levels of camping from having electric and water and sewer versus just the dump station where you can just get electric and water and save a few bucks. Then you bring your rig or your camper over here, you dump and then you go back to your spot. So it's kind of a choice that you can make to save a few dollars if you like, or you can, you know, get the more expensive spot and look up the sewer at your own spot. Well, they do have quite a number of full hookup sites. Uh, I don't think that the loop, uh, the loop is one of them that contains hookup sites, but we're actually in a site that has, you know, 50 amp and full hookup with sewer. So one of the most amazing things as we come, this park was totally filled this Memorial Day weekend, and here it is Monday Memorial Day, and the park is like really empty. As you can see by some of the campsites we're passing, there is literally very few people here. Well, you see on the outskirts they have some cabins, which people are, are staying at. Uh, but other than that, we see a few um, Class A, a couple Class A's over there. There's a fifth wheel down the road here, but there are a lot of empty spots. and. Uh, Really strange to be in World Day. You think they would have stayed one more day, but it didn't work out that way, I guess. <laughs> so I see some painting tables. Not every spot has a painting table. That was one disadvantage we noticed. When our spot did not have a painting table, so when we're preparing food, there was very limited space outside to do these things. But um, there is a pavilion over that to that side and again there is a washroom and we haven't visited all the washrooms there's many of them here most of them are a bit old and rusty but so far the few we've seen are clean um, there are if you really look some hidden gems in this uh, campground interesting enough there's a lot of little wood carvings or a strange building or maybe even a strange sign saying the shard is protected by fire ants, for example. Um, so you never know if you really look what you might see. Um, right now we're heading back out of the loop and uh, I think we're heading out of the loop. Actually, I'm kind of turned around, but we're on the other side of the bathhouse. And uh, we're pretty much getting ready to leave this loop, but as you can see, it's pretty empty. Now here's a teardrop um, trailer. I always thought they're so cute, but I don't think I could ever live in one. And there's the picking shed. I don't know what's in there, but I just noticed it. And pretty much the park, is, this loop is empty as we head for the exit. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Oh, and look at here. Here is Elmo on top of a tiki. Now, I'm not quite sure what Elmo has been out of some red moss or dye or whatever, but there he is. And like I said, sometimes you just find these handy. Oh, look, there's another one. There's a little bear over there. Can you swing around and get the picture of the little bear with a sign, which I can't read from here. But we'll see what it says. It says, Bath House, that way. So there again, another little carving of a bear. So I say you have many little things to look for you around this park if you really want to go hunt for things. Have your true children do a scavenger hunt. That would be kind of awesome.
Here we are at the Spirit Friendship Lodge at the Spirit of the Swami Music Park. And what we want to show you here is the location of the second fat house, which really isn't very well advertised in the park. But also, bats come out of here at twilight and to be seen leaving. Uh, this looks like a, actually a newer, a newer bat house than the other one. The other one's quite worn. Uh, but, you know, come check it out here. Actually, we also found a third bat house in the middle of the grounds here. So this is that, this a third one is actually between the first and the second ones that uh, are on the grounds. So there you go. We'll position this on the map. We're continuing on our way to the uh, canoe outpost area. I do see some cars up ahead, so I think we'll be there momentarily. They evidently uh, take you up river somewhere and drop you off and then you come on down to here where they pick you up and take you back somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. We've been unable to um, get the full information because every time we've come it's been closed. Um, it's a Monday Memorial Day weekend so I don't know if they're open but there are car here so we're going to check it out. And if so, we hope to go down the uh, Swanee River this week while we're here. Um, I see a few canoes and uh, we're going to park here momentarily at the outpost and see, it says canoe outpost. And we're going to see if anybody's there. I cannot I see someone. It looks like a light, so I think we might be in luck today. Alright, so we're going to pull over and see what information we can find out. Obviously someone's here because there's lots of life preservers and such. We might just do this today. Let's go see. So we are at the uh, beach area at the Swanee River Music Park and uh, we're going to go down to the beach and walk along the Swanee River. No lifeguard on duty, so at your own risk. Not sure what we're getting into here, but we we're going to see. And I can see the river from here. Nice white sand. Probably brought in, not really sure. Might be natural, I'm not a historian, folks. But do you see where the water has eaten away some of the bank side across the way? See some stairwells. Some people want to have a really nice property. That looks like limestone over there. Full of holes over there. It's not really sand over there. It's just plain erosion from limestone. You can see here. Beautiful view. Yes. And you can see that. Beautiful view of the river. We're here at the Swanee River Music Park, and we're going to actually explore or attempt to look at the infamous treehouse here on the grounds. This tree was actually featured during an episode of the Treehouse Guys on a DIY network in 2015. Uh, unfortunately, at the time, the matriarch of the park, Jean Carruthers Cornette, died during the filming. And the treehouse is actually called the Mother Tree in her honor. Uh, normally, uh, the treehouse Tours are given on Saturdays and Sundays, but 
the time that we're here now, they're closed. It could be because it's the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, as you see now, the treehouse is actually coming into view as we're approaching it here. And I don't know if we actually can get in. I think we can just see it right now, because right now they have it around all this fencing. So obviously it's not meant for uh, normal people to get in right now, but you can see it. It just looks really beautiful. And it's up in the stratosphere here. But there's different parts of it here, the main entrance here, and the staircase going all the way up to the top there. Um, as you see here, though, we're totally surrounded by crowd control fencing. Although, as you see right now, there's no crowd at all to worry about. Uh, you can see there is a little cable securing it to the structure to keep it steady. And if you uh, can get here in the Swanee River Music Park, you can come and see it for yourself. It's really quite breathtaking. And Marie, why don't you stand in front of it just to give them a little idea of the size and scope of this. You can see it's very, very big. It's probably up at least 30, 40 feet up in the air. I don't know, but I'm guessing it's a very old oak tree. It must have a marvelous view. I can see part of the Swanee River from where I'm standing. Yes. That's pretty awesome. Uh, if we're uh, attempting fate here, I'm going to attempt to climb down there, folks. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, oh, boy. This may going. not end well. Okay. It's kind of a steep bed, guys. Okay, folks, I don't think I'm going to make it down here all the way. I see a big drop off. And, you know, with my pretty fingernails, I'm not climbing down that hill. But, Ted, come on, you can make it down here. View of what they're looking here. I see a boat over there parked. There must be a home across the way. But this view is breathtaking. We're probably about 20 or 30 feet up from the Swanee River, so that treehouse must be, wow, I don't know, uh, 100 feet? No, 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 no. Up in the air, I'm not a really good judge. You can see the big limbs of the trees overhanging the river all the way down. I see the lost pavilion. I think we found it. Is there a reward? No, I don't think so. Ah, well, okay then. I guess we'll just continue on our way. And so here I am on the stage at Spirit of the Swanee. Hope y'all can hear me. I want you to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll do a little jingle for you. And you know, if you subscribe, you might even see me curtsy, bow, and do a few other things. But please, like our channel because you must like me. And that is it for the Spirit of the Spawning.